Welcome back, survivors. Uh, a couple of things have changed. I've done differently. Well, I guess this is not different. A couple of new things to talk about here in today's episode. This is a whole new area. My base, you can see the... Uh, the elevator is way off in the distance over there. This is an all new area. I was out exploring in the truck, which you can't see, it's down that hill right there, in the little tractor thing, um, and came across this area with a lot of resources really close to each other. So I wanted to set up a complete factory here. It took a couple hours to do, uh, but I set up a, you know, a pretty good system here. It's not finished, it's not finalized, and I started to build a building down there, and I'll kind of walk you through what I've done here. These uh, two are iron nodes over here. Uh, and I've got iron feeding into uh, smelters and then turning into uh, rods and screws and plates. And they're formed right here into um, reinforced iron plates and going directly into storage. We'll do something with those more later. Over here, I've got biomass being produced and turned into biofuel, uh, which it looks like one of them is out. Maybe... A I'm not sure which one that is, but one of them is empty. And back there, we've got copper. It's the only copper deposit nearby. So we've got copper feeding in to ingots, to wire, and just going into storage there. Um, I'll figure out. Maybe I'll make turn that into cable later or something. Uh, but for now, I've got that. The idea is to start feeding all this stuff into this building. Um, and this right here is um, limestone. So it's just being turned into concrete and put into storage for now. And then I've got two more iron nodes right here. They're being uh, smelted into ingots, and the ingots are going into an um, to a conveyor. Let's get over there and I'll show you that. Oh, just made it. That's so cool. All right, yeah, they're being smelted into ingots on both of these, and then they're being fed into a storage uh, bin, which is pretty much full now, which is why I turned everything off, because it's full. Um, and then these ingots are being run down an assembly line here and split off into three uh, conveyor belts, and they're running into this building. These buildings are surprisingly easy to build. Um, so I, I started working on it. I, I Once I got into it, I didn't realize how easy they were to build, but this is a really easy building system. It's literally just snap stuff into place, and there you go. Once you get your foundations down, you just snap them onto each other. Really simple layout. I've seen it in a couple other games. I, I really like it. It's, it's a nice layout. And in here, I haven't 100% decided what I'm going to do with this uh, building yet, but the idea is I'm going to have resources being funneled in here. I'll probably remove this one and add another conveyor belt right there. And on the other side, have maybe copper and limestone coming in. Everything being poured into this building off of that hill back there. Like, everything. Um finished product, raw product. I don't know exactly how we'll set it up yet. Uh, but everything is going to be coming into this building. Um, and I'm toying around with what I'm going to do with it. If you have any suggestions, maybe toss them down in the comment section. But um, the I'm, what I may end up doing is turning this into a resource transport facility where everything is being produced here, and I'll have tractors carrying it off to my base over there for me. That way, because I, I, th I think... I haven't tried it yet, but I think you can set these up to be autonomous and, and operate automatically along a set path, I, I think. I think you can do it with the, um, what are they called? The, um, oh, my brain just died. <laughs> That's nothing new, right? I mean, what's the building here? The vehicle building, the truck station. Uh, they can send and or, or receive resources to vehicles. So I think with that, you might be able to set up some automation um, because it also can refuel them as well. So um, yeah, this, we're going to play around with it. We're going to try it out. We're going to see if we can do that. Uh, but for now, I've been out here for a few hours building this, all this stuff out here. And this was going to be a walkway going up to a second floor, but I stopped working because I realized I hadn't been back to my base in a couple hours. And everything over there is probably shut off and out of fuel, so <laughs> I'm going to ride over there real quick and see what's going on. Yeah, see? Down at the bottom right, it says vehicle path, not recording, autopilot active, no. So you can turn on an autopilot um, and have it run a path. You can record a path and have it run. So that's what we'll have to set up and get a bunch of those, uh, get a bunch of these tractors going and set up an automation for this. Uh, and basically just have all the resources coming down here to this base, uh, my main base here. Maybe even feed some into the uh, elevator here, which we need to get to work on all that stuff. But that's probably what I should work on in that building. Start producing the motors and the modular frames just in that building and then having the tractor bring it down here, either to me, to a storage, or just dropping them directly in, via conveyor belt directly into the space elevator that may be the best way to do it but yeah it looks like everything down here has stopped everything's out of power 
Yeah, all my generators stopped. All right, so I got to refuel everything, um, get the generators back going, turn everything back on, get my production going again. And, oh, this one's still running, though. Just barely, almost out of fuel. Uh, and then I wanted to work on the next tier. Uh, we've got tier three. Uh, we got um, to do all the stuff I want to do back there at that new factory at the, the, the building. I'm probably going to need to have some way of uh, adjusting my conveyor belt height. So I'm going to need these conveyor poles. And also, I would like to be able to make it go faster with faster conveyor belts, maybe. And then we got this rebar gun I want to try and get today as well. Uh, we'll have a new weapon. We'll try and check that out. But let me get everything turned back on. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. All right, I've got everything back up and running here. Let's see, there should be something new. Oh yeah, the Katerium, or we should have a message for that. New technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 3. Hub Tier 3, okay, that's what we're working on right now, cool. What is this quick wire? I haven't seen that. Katerium's high conductivity and resistance to corrosion makes it ideal for small advanced electronics. Ah, so maybe you can take the Katerium ore and turn it into quick wire. We need to uh, analyze that as well. Let me, uh, let's check that out in Hub Tier 3 real quick. Katerium uh, technology. Um, so we can make Katerium ingots with it, increase our power, uh, our inventory slots. Looks like we can make new power poles, which hold up to six connections. That's cool. Blade Runners? What the heck is that? An exoskeleton for your lower legs that assists your movement, allowing you to sprint faster and jump higher. Also dampens the impact of landing. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. <laughs> and we can get a scanner update for Katarium War. Oh gosh, I was wanting the rebar gun, but now I want those Blade Runners too. All right. Uh, screw logistics for now. We're going to have fun today. <laughs> Let's go for this rebar gun. What do we need? A thousand wire. I've got the rotors and I need 25 reinforced iron plates. All right. Let's do this. Um, a thousand wire. Easy peasy. No problem. Boom, boom. And then reinforced iron plates are going to be over here. I think it said, what, 25 of them? Something like that. But I've got plenty. I think I should have like 150. Yeah. 160. Sweet. It's really slow production on those things, but luckily you don't seem to need a lot of them other than unlocking stuff. They're not used to build a lot of things, at least not yet. Maybe they will be later on. Uh, let's get the rebar gun. Uh, select milestone. Boom. 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 And rotors. 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 Done. Let's do this. Boosh. Blast off. That is so cool. I love that. New equipment, new parts. Nothing, no no messages, no no talking, no talky talk, no words. Alright, fine, be quiet. Uh, rebar gun. There it is. Spiked rebar. <laughs> okay, so the rebar gun, we can't afford it, but we should be able to make it. We need 100 screws and we can make it. Oh my gosh. So sweet. Easy to make 100 screws. No time. Just take a few seconds here. Done. <laughs> All right, rebar gun. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for this. This is going to be fun. Rebar gun. Boom. Put it next to the chainsaw. And spiked rebar is its ammo. So it's just made from iron rods. I'm going to put that like right there so I can keep an eye on how much I've got. I don't know. Let's play around with it. I got plenty of iron rods. It's not like I'm going to run out anytime soon. So. My storage container is almost completely full. Uh, it's only stacks to 50, though. Okay, so we'll stop right there for now. Um, and then, was there anything else in that? Let me see. Tier 3, rebar gun, a biomass. I don't know why it's saying biomass. We've clearly unlocked biomass. Maybe it's a new way to make biomass. Biomass made from something, a different material, maybe? Leaves, wood... Ooh, alien carapace. Ah, that's the things we get from the... Oh, gosh. That makes a lot of biomass from that. These alien... Uh, you get a hundred per each one. That's the little armor plates that we're getting from those uh, those little creatures that try to headbutt you. Um, all right, so we can go hunting for those and get a lot of biomass. We can just dump that directly into the biomass or biofuel generators and make a ton off of it. All right, let's do that then while we're waiting for... Um, Oh gosh, look at this thing, guys. Look at it. <laughs> it's hard to reload. Oh gosh, he just throws his metal rod in there. 
Oh, it's a single shot, though. You have to reload after every shot. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. All right. Well, we've got a, a, a couple minutes to kill here. Let's go get in the truck and find something to shoot with this thing. <laughs> Found our first victim. Almost crashed my truck in the process. Oh, shoot. Jimmy. Jimmy, no. Reload. Hit the wrong button. Oh! -ho! Reload. I have to reload it manually every time. I gotta remember that. Alright, alright. Ah! I can't see him. Got him. Alright, it's a little tricky getting used to it. You have to reload every time. Let me grab some leaves while I'm out here and make some more biomass. I'm gonna be stocking up on biomass now. Biofuel. Um, I wonder if we can shoot those, uh, those long leg creatures. Where are they at? Are there any around here? Also, I wonder if I can drive through this cloud of toxic fumes. Uh, got too close. Now, I know... Have I been... I don't think I've been down in this valley before. Let's see if there's anything down here worth shooting. <laughs> Lots of leaves. Just gather them all for biomass. What is this glowing thing? Oh, yeah, there's one of those fireball shooters. Is that one of those things that talk to you? I think it is. I wonder what the range is on this thing. I got him. My range is farther than his range, it looks like. Ow! Got him. Alien organs. Oh, that's right, they dropped something different. Alien organs. What does that do? Organs from alien creatures. Oh, well, that narrows it down. Uh, let's heal up a bit. Let's keep going. See what else we can find out here. Reload this thing. Is this one of those artifacts that talk to you? It's different. Is it? No, it's the same. Oh, shoot. Pay attention, Jimmy. I will not two of you. Ow. Ow. This thing definitely does more damage than the um, zap gun, the bug gun, the bug zapper, but not much more. It's unfortunate, as cool as it is. These guys are a little bit trickier to dodge, but once you get the hang of it, just kind of sidestep them the whole time. Ow, but they get, like, smart sometimes and shoot where you're going. See? He shot where I was going to be, not where I was. <laughs> Clever little devils, you... Got him, alright. And those guys hit hard. I gotta get some better armor or something. There's gotta be a way to get some better armor. Reload it. Alright, this is a pretty cool little valley. There's no resources around, it looks like, but it is, uh... Let's pick up this thing. This one's not talking to me like the other one did. But it is another summer sloop, so... Um... I've not been out here at all. Let's explore it a bit. Wonder this looks cool. Yeah, this looks cool back here. What is this? Can I cut it with a chain? Ooh, can I cut it with a chainsaw? Oh, I didn't bring any fuel for that chainsaw, Jimmy. You dummy. I can cut that. Ooh, I got a new th item. What is that? Mycelia? Used for crafting biomass burners and vehicles can use it for power. Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, here's into something different. Ah, oh, crap, it's those things. Eat lead or iron rod. I gotta be able to kill those things. They're so annoying. Just want to sit there and poison me to death. I can't do anything about it. I hear something. Oh, hey, little fella! You kind of got me nervous there. Oh my gosh! Look at this! Oh, wow! Those plants are huge. That is awesome. Where is this place? It is. East by southeast of my base. A little bit south, but mostly east. Okay. 
I'll have to remember this. This place looks cool. I'm going to come back and check it out. Bring some more fuel for my chainsaw next time. Um, just kind of walk around avoid some of these toxic plants while we're... Ooh, is that a slug? Green power slug. Not enough space. Oh, i got to drop something. There's no way I'm passing up a green power slug, right? Um, one biomass. Gone. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ah! Watch it, fella! Oh, shoot, he brought his friend. <laughs> Guy's trying to gang up on me. And I wonder if I can turn those organs into biomass as well. Maybe later we can research that. Do I have inventory space now? I do. Alright. I gotta get that slug. Where did it go? Oh, it's in a cloud of toxic gas now? I'll risk it. I'll risk it. Get it, bro. Get it. Sweet. What the flip is that? Oh, shh! It's an alien spider! Oh my god, no! Get away! Get away! Oh my god, it hits so hard. Run, Jimmy. Run. Run for your life, sir. Run faster if you can. Oh my god, it's gonna it's like right behind me. I can hear it. I can hear its creepy little footsteps. I'm gonna run your ass over with my truck though, I can tell you that. Oh my god, it got in front of me. Did it leave me alone? <laughs> Alright. Uh that's enough exploring. Oh, not the chainsaw dummy. Get that. Uh, let's get back to base before we get killed by something out here. Let's uh, research this next thing for the for the jump boots or whatever they are. All right, back at base, and yes, we can research this my my celia uh, as well. How many do I have? It takes five to research. I've got six. Good. All right, we'll do a little research on that while we're setting up this next tier upgrade here. Um, I need to put up a few things. Combine that. Uh, put that summer sloop up. Throw these leaves and everything in there. Anyways, uh, tier three. What do we need for this? Uh, which is it? Caterium? No, it was tier four, wasn't it? Where the heck did it go? <laughs> I want those jump boots. There it is, Blade Runners. Yes, it was in tier three. Caterium. It's part of Caterium. You know what? Probably means I'm going to need Caterium to make it. But let's give it a shot, anyways, and see. Um. Now, let me gather all these materials and we'll craft this thing. All right, got all the stuff in there for Caterium research. Let's launch that bad boy off. Caterium acquisition unlocked. Additional to new equipment, building, and parts utilizing basic Caterium properties. R&D insisted on inflating your pocket dimensions. <laughs> insisted on inflating your pocket dimensions. We got five more slots of inventory space. That is awesome. That is good. That is too cool. All right, so Caterium ore probably going to be made with a constructor, right? Let's go check out. We'll probably need to smelt it first, but let's just like see what they can create now. Oh, they can you can just have it automatically generate right there in a Oh shoot, I didn't mean to click that, Jimmy. You can have them made right here in these. That's pretty sweet. The the, the spike rebar that is, excuse me. Um, all right, so there's the quick wire. So yes, it's made here in the in, in this. So yeah, the Caterium ore is going to be smelted in a smelter, and then you would turn it into. Uh, I guess you'd have to find a pretty substantial deposit of it first, though. So, yes, Caterium ore. All right. I don't know. I haven't found one. Look, we could make a um, item to search for it, a little scanner to search for it, and then go. Let's see. Object scanner. Can't afford recipe. I need uh, beacons. All right. Um, what about the what about the silly little jump boots? Where are they crafted at? Where are they crafted at? I don't see them in here. Oh, there they were. There they were. All the way at the bottom. I did see them. Blade runners. How do we make those? Uh, rotors and quick wire. So yeah, we need quick wire made from Caterium ore. All right. The mycelia research is completed. Let's see what it says about that. This mycelia can be used to create fabrics. fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine uh -huh. the cause of an anomaly. Okay, we'll have to find some more of that. 
Uh, and now fabric. Well, that's interesting. Quick wire we can study, but it needs a hundred to study. I don't. I don't. I don't have a hundred. I, I need to make these blade runners. Um, what do I need? Three rotors. Oh gosh. All right. Three rotors. Uh, rotor. 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 One, two, three. Done. All right. I want these quick boots. That's what I want. Blade runners. Go. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be so cool. Actually, it's probably it's probably disappointing, right? <laughs> Blade Runners. Oh, we got them ups now, y'all! <laughs> Alright, so what used to hurt us? Jumping off of this thing, right? I'm moving faster! Oh, you can't see them on your character. That's disappointing. Yeah, you run faster with these things on. That is so cool. We probably can outrun that stupid spider thing that was scaring the bejeebers out of me. Alright, let's climb up here. We were, we were taking fall damage falling off of this. I'm going to jump off of it. Wah! No fall damage. That is too cool. Oh, that's sweet. We got a new gun, new jump boots. What's next, right? What's next? We need to get... We need to make an object scanner. Uh, go find the Katarium ore. Get some more of that to start making some more advanced things. And I need to unlock the next milestone. I probably need to work on logistics, right? I should be able to craft that. That's pretty easy. 20 rotors is going to be the most expensive thing. So, yeah, I can do that. All right, let's get these logistics unlocked. Now, we should have all the resources gathered. The time is up on the crap on the queue. Let's see. What am I missing here? Cables, cables, cables. Got them. And rotors. Got it. All right. That's everything for tier three so far. I know something may unlock with some more research. But that's going to allow us to get some more. Encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics. Yes. To short range transportation. Vertical. Yeah, that's going to be it. I wonder if we could stack things on top of each other, like storages on top of each other, and that would be kind of cool if we could just let me just try that. I wonder, right? Would it even let me? You can. Oh my gosh, you can. Oh my gosh, it opens up some new things. Then if we can stack storage containers. Um, on top of each other. I didn't realize you could do that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so that opens up a lot of new things we can do. But we got a new new jump boots. We got these uh, this new handy-dandy rebar gun. Uh, I'm going to go back and work on my other, my new base over there. That's going to wrap up this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up button. If you like this video, post me any comments or questions down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.